Our first impression of Damascus is one of surprise as we notice the modern appearance of the Saraya Square in the center of the city. But our opinion soon changes as we step a few paces away. Of the 300,000 inhabitants, about 80% are Muslims, and there are naturally many places of worship. The largest and most important, the Mosque of Umayyad, is open not only to the faithful, but to the non-believer as well. All must remove shoes before entering. Damascus is a hot and dry city. The many vendors of cool sweet water do a thriving business. They clap the little brass bowls to make their presence known. At this open-air grill, tasty tidbits of goat are served. Perhaps not sanitary, but no doubt to the Damascans, very delicious. Cheap soap, but from the appearance of the people, there's little demand for it. Syrian oranges are delicious, and inexpensive too. They are sold by weight, and a dozen large ones cost only a few pennies. Headdresses, which remind us of biblical characters. A new rug from Persia. And here's another way to display a rug. An auctioneer, carrying it over his shoulders, solicits bids as he walks about. Damascus is at the end of the caravan routes from Persia and Mesopotamia. During the day, many camel trains from the east enter the city and trail through the winding streets. The narrow bazaar streets are covered by high arched metal roofs. The name of this one is familiar to all of us, the biblical street called Straight. We stop at a small outdoor bakery, for the strange manner in which bread is baked interests us. The ball of dough is twirled. When it is large enough, it's placed over a pillar and thrust into the oven. A gentle pat causes it to cling to the hot wall, and the pillar is removed. The handful of straw is for the fire. Let's watch it again. No, the baker's not wearing gloves. The bread is fresh when bought over the counter, but from a merchant, it's generally after much handling and when many flies have sampled it. Damascus has long been famous for its many oriental coffee houses, where men gather in the evening and smoke the nagi lay, a Turkish water pipe. is placed in the metal top and kept burning by a small piece of charcoal. The smoke is cooled by being drawn through the water in the bowl.